so you're shopping for an e-collar. Probably because you told your dog no, but they just kept doing whatever it was anyways. Maybe you just want your dog to be able to run around off leash, but you know they won't come back if you call them. Or maybe you want a tool that will take your training to the next level. My name is Cheryl Ross, and I'm a professional dog trainer who not only uses e-collar technologies myself, but I train hundreds of my clients to use them as well. Yes, I clearly give this tool and this company a high endorsement, but let me tell you why. It has a level locking feature, which I love because it ensures that even if I accidentally bump the dial, the working level will stay the same. This gives me peace of mind knowing that I'll be communicating at the proper level with my dog. The mini educator has a hundred different levels of stimulation, which allows for a wide variety of communication. The remote design allows it to fit comfortably in your hand and the buttons are easy to reach and features a momentary and continuous stimulation. It also has an LED flashlight feature which allows you to make your dog visible at night. I love this feature and I use it all the time. You might be thinking about buying a cheaper electronic collar that's out there on the market, but those collars more than likely will only have 7 to about 15 levels. That means level 1 is probably already pretty high. Level two is really strong. Level three is very intense and it just gets a bit ridiculous from there. With eColor Technologies Mini Educator, a level 20 is similar to a level one on those cheaper models. That means that you have 20 levels lower than what you would get with the other collar. This opens up a whole new kind of communication. Rather than yelling at your dog the whole time, this collar allows you to speak at room volume or even a whisper if you need to. When your dog understands that the stimulation is just a continual conversation and not a feeling that is meant to say no in a really loud way, your dog will not only listen to you, but love and respect you as well. So you might be thinking about going for one of those cheaper options on the market, but let me just tell you this, that old saying is true, you get what you pay for, and this is worth every penny. So. That outdoor activity that you've been wanting to do with your dog is now possible with e-collar technologies. Hi, this is Emma from Bosnica. In this video, I am going to introduce you our new model, Bosnica Shock Collar for two dogs. Let's see what's included in this box. A user manual. Please read it carefully and keep it handy for future reference. Two colors with different colors. One remote. Two sets of contact points with the silicon covers. Two spring sheets. One test lamp. A two interface charging cable. This allows you to charge the collar and the remote at the same time. I'll charge two collars simultaneously. Very convenient. There is no adapter in this box, but you can charge it with your own phone adapter, or the power bank, or the USB outlet of your computer, or your car. Very, very convenient. Let's see the receivers. Compared with other models, this receiver is thinner, smaller, and also more lightweight. 
As you can see, the collar strap is soft and durable. It's adjustable from 6 to 27 inches. You can adjust the collar length by changing the position of this buckle. Just slide it to the position. And then loop the strap through the buckle. The maximum length of this collar is 27 inches. The minimum length of this collar is 6 inches. Now, let's see how to prepare the collar. The spring sheets and the contact points are both used to make the shock mode more effective. If you don't use to the shock mode, uh, then you, can, you don't need to install the contact points or the spring sheet. You can use the collar just like this. If you use the shock mode and your dog has short or thin hair, then you can install the contact points and the silicon covers. Put the contact points here. Please use the test lamp to tighten the contact points as tight as you can. And then push the silicon covers hard till there is no empty space between the top of the contact points and the top of the caps. This way, they will not fall off easily. If your dog has long hair or thick hair, then you need to you may use the spring sheet and the contact points at the same time. First, put the spring sheet here, then install the contact points. Use the test lamp to tighten as tight as you can. Push the silicon covers hard. Okay. Sometimes you may want to adjust the shape of the spring sheet to fit your dog's neck. But as you can see, the spring sheet is very thin. To avoid breaking easily, we sincerely suggest you to loosen the contact points a little, then bend the top part carefully, like this. Loosen it a little. Then bend the top part carefully. Okay. Now let's see the remote. As you can see, covered with silicon and equipped with large LED screen. 
This remote looks sleek and fashionable. This is the on-off button. You can long press it to turn it on and to turn it off. This button can also be used as a security lock button. When you don't use it, you can turn it off to avoid beeping, vibrating, or shocking your dog by accident. This is the up and down lever buttons. You can use it to adjust the shock levels. The shock level changes from 1 to 16 and 1 is the lowest level, while 16 is the highest level. We sincerely suggest you always use the shock mode as the last resource and please always start from the lowest level and then work your way up. This is the switch channel button. You can use it to, you, to choose the channel. This is the beep button, the vibrate button, and the shock button. Now let's see how to pair the remote with the receiver. When you first received them, they are already paired. Channel 1. Channel 2. But in case they are not paired or they have lost connection, you can follow the steps below for pairing. First, use the on-off button to turn on the remote. Then choose the channel. Long press the on-off button on the receiver to turn the receiver off. Next. Long press the on off button on the receiver to turn on the receiver and until the red light and the green light blink in turn. Okay, press the beep button and the vibration button at the same time. The green light blinks quickly. Then press the beep button or the vibration button to check if they are successfully paired. If you want to pair another receiver to channel 2, just repeat the steps above. Those colors are IPX7, 100% waterproof. Even submerged in water, it will work normally. See? Channel 2. Okay. Channel 1. So please feel safe to let your dog swim in the pool or in the river. But this remote is not waterproof, so please keep it away from water. I'm here to do a review of my new dog collar um, for my puppy Ollie. Um, this is from Pat Pet, and I'm just going to do a little out of the box thing for you so you can see it comes uh, very nicely um, packaged, right? So you have your um, training manual um, so you know how to use it, use your manual, and then you have the collar, which of course is adjustable, um, and you can um, make that be, you know, whatever length you need for your dog. Uh, here's the actual receiver. Very smooth, um, soft feel to it, right? So that's pretty awesome. Um, and it's got two different channels you can go on. So if you have two dogs, you know, you could use the same one for um, each channel. Um, then you have uh, these little guys. This is for, um, these are the little tips for the actual 
um, little shocker guy um, or vibrator, you know, depending on what you use. We tend to, you know, we've only um, actually done the the e shock on ours just like maybe two times in a few years. So he he knows it's there, but he's good with the sound or the vibrate. You know, he knows that that it's good. And then we also have a tester. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this charged up. And uh, then I'm going to uh, show you how to use everything. And uh, thanks. Okay, so I am back and um, I'm just going to give you a brief run through here. I'm going to show it to you on my dog too uh, for the final touch, but right now I have him locked in the other room because I'm going to show you what it looks like with the vibrations and the and the sound and everything else. And I don't want to do that with him around because he is being a good boy. So I don't want to um, do it and unless he actually needs it, right? So I want to show you, first of all, here's how you switch uh, between two different dogs, one channel, two channel, and you know, and it tells, it tells you how to pair it with a new one. Um, if you do have two dogs and you want to use the same receiver, uh, we just have one dog and it comes pre-paired, so we don't have to do all that, right? Um, over here is the power button. So this is how you turn it on. This is how you change your levels um, over here. Um, and then here's your uh, LED display there. Um, so you can see if I turn it on, um, it's got a battery uh, display over on the one side so you know how full it is. Those are those bars over there. I did fully charge this, right? And this will, you can make this go up, you know, as high or low as you want, obviously. Um, and then this right here is the indicator. So you know what you're doing based on the color um, that shows up there. So again, um, the contact points come pre-paired on there, right? They're already on there, but if you need longer ones, because you've got dogs with really long hair, they're, it, they, they send two different sizes. Um, so now I'm just going to show you um, what happens. So here's the here's the vibrate, right? So you see that that lit up, and then this made a sound. And then there's also that is just for the sound, right? So and you can see um, that it's green when it's the sound, and it's um, it's the uh, orange, sorry, color um, there. And then if you do the shock, I'm gonna make sure my hand's far away from that it's red, right? So um, those are your different options for that. Uh, the power on off is just right here. Um, so for this guy, and these just charge, uh, you know, with uh, with a regular USB charger um, thing. Um, and it is waterproof. You can see, you know, that it's got the um, cover on there. So it is waterproof. And now um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show it to you on my dog. All right, and now you can see I'm here with my pup, right? Oh my goodness. Oh yes, Holly, yes, we do love you. Um, and when you, I already kind of adjusted it to him. <laughs> and um, so you just clip it on just like that. Oh, <laughs> and then you just make sure, you wanna make sure you've got a few finger lengths of space in there, right? And then if you have a pup here like mine, who is a big, who's a big love muffin, you basically, um, you're basically just gonna, you know, I just, I honestly just use the sound once in a while. If he's being naughty, I'll do the vibrate, but it's just a reminder, like, Hey, I'm the boss here. Don't forget that I'm the boss and you listen to me. So anyway, that is it for my review. And, uh, we look forward to, uh, this product. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Thanks. When I first got Sandy, she was an absolute nightmare. She wouldn't behave, she would dig holes in the yard, she would scratch at the furniture, she would bark all the time, just unruly. So I had a friend who was a dog trainer and she suggested an e-collar. And I was like, well, e-collar, isn't that not humane? Or I wasn't sure if it was gonna work, but I decided to give it a try. I purchased the Pets by e-collar and Voila, Sandy's been a new dog. So I started the e-collar training and gradually I started to see changes and improvements in the way her behavior was. I couldn't believe how fast Sandy started to change and respond to the training. Feel great, it made me feel great that um, I didn't have an uncontrollable dog in public and I wasn't embarrassed to bring her in places. <laughs>